In this video, we are going to go through the song on Zion's Glorious Summit. Okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful song. And what it describes is that scene in Revelation where all the people are standing around the, the, the throne of God saying, Holy, Holy, Lord God Almighty. And it's a song of triumph. It's a song that we can really get into. And in this video, we're going to go through the vocabulary for that song. So this song is fun to sign. And I hope, I'm hoping I picked three songs this year that will kind of be balanced out. Uh, I picked all songs that I really love this year. So this one, I can't say I have a favorite. In this one, we're going to go through the vocabulary, though. And I'm going to say this at the beginning of all my vocabulary uh, videos, and that is this. I am going to show you the signs for the words, but I don't want you learning the signs for the words. I want you to learn the signs for the sentences, because we speak in sentences. We do not speak in words. We speak in sentences, we think in sentences, we memorize in sentences, we write in sentences. And because we do that, learning sign language is a learning in sentences, not words. And so I'm going to show you the signs for the words, but when you practice this, I want you to practice them in sentences. Got that? All right, on Zion's glorious summit stood, on Zion, Zion, what on earth is Zion? That's not a word we use when we, you know, go to the grocery store, you know? Zion, that's another name for heaven. This is where God lives. This is where the throne of God is. So we're going to sign it as Zion, on Zion's Notice it had an apostrophe S there. We don't have, we're not fingerspelling this, and even if we were, we wouldn't put apostrophe S, right? We would say, on heavens, and we would use that pronoun kind of thing, where pronouns are yours and mine, his, hers, it's, his, it's a directional thing, and an open palm says ownership. So, on Zion, so where? On Zion's glorious. See how I did that? Zion's, and I put a is on the end of it there. Glorious. And the same sign has come up in the last two that I've done where the word glory is there. And I tell you how I remember the word glory. And if, just in case you didn't get to see those two videos, I'm going to tell you here too. All right? Glory. Imagine yourself sitting on the bank of a lake and it's a perfectly calm day, not a ripple in the water. Sun coming down, beautiful warm day. You're sitting in the shade of a glorious tree and you take a pebble and you flick it out into the, into the pond. It hits the water and the sun reflects the ripples. And that's how I remember the sign glory. It is glorious, it's beautiful. Summit on Zion glorious sun, the high place, the high, okay, the top, the high stood. I'm not going to have them standing, all right? This is a sign for stand, but on Zion's glorious summit stood. I'm going to say there were a lot of people there. Just look at all the people. All right. Stood. A numerous host redeemed by blood. A numerous host. This is a large group of people. Sort of make C signs, kind of come out, and then widen it out. Host. Redeemed by blood. 
redeemed. R's coming across, and then D. This is the sign for finished. Kind of like when you got you did done doing your dishes and you finished doing them, you fling your water off your fingers. Okay, redeemed by blood, by just B Y, blood. Kind of wiggle your finger and just come across your other finger by blood. They. And again, we're just going to point to this huge group standing in front of the throne of God. They hymned, hymned, sang to, they sang. And in sign language, in music, or singing, or song, or melody, or chorus, or harmony, or any of those singy, songy, what type words, it's always the same sign. Because if you think about it, signing for the deaf, or singing for the deaf, is it singing is really a hearing thing something the hearing people enjoy the way the deaf person hears a song is is in the flow of your body movements and the rhythm of what you're saying and so that's why when you see me signing you see sort of an exaggerated almost a dance because that is what gives the deaf music all right, insight, a little insight into me. They hymned there, they, they hymned their king. K, starting on the shoulder opposite your elbow, coming down to your hip, king. In strains divine, they hymned their king in Strains, again, that, that song, those verses, whatever you want to call it, in strain, music, divine. Make a D, go across your palm, come back, and then wipe it off. Okay, that's divine. I heard, now where is the music coming from? Is it coming from the floor? I heard, no, I heard. My eyes are going to be looking to where I am seeing that song coming from. Okay, and it's all up here. I have built a gallery in my mind up here of where the song is and where the host is and where they're singing around the throne. And I'm going to build all of my signs around that gallery. Okay, they hymned their king in strains divine. I heard the song and strove, this is to try, strove is to try, and I tried, make it, and this is kind of one of those I'm not even sure how to describe this. You're going to wind up with T's, okay? But you're going to, it's a morphing sign. You're going to start out kind of like with L's, and you're going to rotate them into T's. Rotate them into T's. Try, I strove to join. Okay? I'm going to put this up here, and to join, I'm going to join them up there. To join. I heard the song and strove to join. Here, here, all, all, make a wall, put a ceiling on it, circle the ceiling, make the ceiling a wall. All. Can I just kind of twiddle your arm, your hand around the other one? All. Here, all who Suffer, and we're just going to leave the word suffer, or the word who, out. We don't need it. It's redundant. All is the who, okay? Here, all who suffer, suffer. It's kind of a, make an A hand and just kind of rub it against your chin. Okay? Here, who, all who suffer, 
sword. Take it out of your scabbard and brandish it. You all who suffer sword or or it's O R flame. This is fire coming up. Four point to your head and come out. Four truth or Jesus lovely name. Okay. Four, point to your head and rotate. Four, truth. Point to your chin, kind of point at your nose from your chin and it comes straight out. Truth or Jesus. Lovely. Kind of circle and come out. Lovely name. And you should know name from your introduction. Shout. You got this big noise inside you're gonna bring it out and give it to everybody shout victory letter v kind of point to your shook here point to your elbow here and wave a victory sort of like waving a flag yay i win victory now two y hands just dropping now okay and hail the lamb and hail Golf clap, praise, hail the lamb. And I've seen lamb done two different ways, either with an L for lamb or cheer, sort of like sheep lamb, okay? And bow. Now this is a sign for bow. This is not the sign for bow. See what the difference was? This is your head, this is you bowing. This is bowing. You bow with your whole body, okay? Sign language is just the hands. Before the great I am, before, this is God's face, this is your face, before. Just bring it up. And where is God? So in my vision, if that's the right word, Whenever I'm signing, God lives right there. And if you watch me interpret, and if you're a deaf person who's watching me interpret all the time, you get to know real quickly that whenever anything that's up here, that's where God lives in my signing universe. That's where he is, okay? So bowing before him, bowing before the great, great, two, this is a sign for G, right? Widen them out and stretch them out. The great I am. Notice this is not how great I am. So I'm pointing up when I say I am to make sure that I'm communicating is not me, it's him that we're talking about is the great I am. While everlasting ages roll, while, two W hands going out and then kind of rolling up, while, everlasting, always, yet, everlasting. Circle in the air, Y hand going out. Everlasting ages. Okay? Ages. This is a sign for year. This is the sun going around the earth. Think about that. Takes a year for that to happen. And if I stretch it out and or exaggerate it, it becomes ages. While everlast, while everlasting ages roll, continue. We're going to use the sign for continue. Take your left hand thumb and push it with your right hand thumb if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, then it's going to be the other way around. Okay? Eternal love will feast their soul. Eternal love. Give that teddy bear a hug. 
shall or will, shall, will, same sign. Feast, they put in your mouth, they feed their soul. Remember, we got that gallery up there. We don't want to forget that. Their souls. And scenes of bliss forever new. They're going to be seeing wonders upon wonders upon wonders over and over again, right? And the way we're going to sign that is we're going to sign scenes. This is like taking a picture. Scenes of bliss, of blessings. So pictures blessed forever new. Okay, this is kind of an awkward set of signs here. You may want to practice through this a little bit. Okay, and scenes of bliss forever new. Left hand kind of lays still, the right hand just kind of brushed the knuckles in there. New. Rise in succession to their view. This is them seeing beautiful things again and over and over. It's going to be gorgeous, right? So, scenes of bliss forever new rise, building, building, rise in succession to their view. To their view. Okay? In sign language, your eyeballs are on your fingertips. I have glasses, so I guess I have four eyes. View, okay, what they see. Holy, okay, and that's the song. And then we have, I think it's called the Sanctus at the end. And then it goes into, we join. Remember at the beginning of the song, I strove to join. Now we join the song. And we say in our voice, holy, 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 holy. An H, kind of butter the hand and then wipe it off. Holy Lord God of host. We know those signs, right? On high adored or adored. You can do worship or love. Either sign would be work, right? Whichever one makes sense to you. Okay. O. O is just make two O's. Down. Out, around, up, and back where you started from. O, oh, almighty king. O, oh, almighty king. Okay, I think we went through all those signs. If not, I think almighty, all strong, right? Almighty king. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. On high adored, or adored, holy, holy, holy. All right? That's the signs. Those, that's the vocabulary. This song has got more vocabulary than maybe some of the other songs do. But it is a beautiful song. And you sing it a lot in church. This would be a good song to know how to sign. I hope a lot of people choose it. This is, this is a beautiful song. Hope you see you there at LTC.